how did you pick who to rob and who not to rob? You know, back. See what like I start doing? I start robbing stores. Because when I rob, you rob a nigga, they gonna come back looking for you. you know what I mean, if you rob a store, once you get away, you away. So I'm robbing every. I'm robbing Foot Lockers, markets, all type of shit. You know what I mean? And I know they gonna have something. You might rob a nigga that look nice. He ain't got he got to look nice, but he ain't got no money. You know what I mean? And you and you, you still you still gonna be looking for you. You know what I mean? So I start robbing stores. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Now you get caught. For like three or four times, right? How'd you get out of that? But, well, I got locked up for my first robbery. Uh, I robbed a market up Germantown Avenue. Get booked. I was a young boy, though. So I ended up doing like two years at Vision Quest. I mean, before then, I did a robbery. I forgot what, what I robbed, but I was up St. Gabriel's. Then I got caught. They charged me for five robberies. I went up House of Correction. I beat all of them, though. It was so crazy because I I was at one trial, right? The, the white boy on the stand, like, yeah, well... Uh, he, he, he shot my dog. He did this. And all, all the shit I really did. So I'm thinking I did this shit. I'm like, man, damn. I mean, I'm about to get roofed. You know what I mean? Come to find out. I ain't even do this shit. I, I, I don't know what kind of crazy coincidence was, this was, but I was at the 69th Street movie. Some niggas said, I looked at this girl butt and we start rumbling. I'm locked up the same day this nigga get robbed. That's the only thing that saved me. The judge said, he said, yo, I was about to give you 10 years. Mm. He said, you're the luckiest person I've ever seen in my courtroom. So what he did was he threw that, he, since boy was lying on me, he threw that case out and another case I had in his courtroom. So that was two going. Then I just started beating them one by one. You know what I mean? But the craziest shit, I'm like, to this day, I don't understand how. I remember robbing a, a, a truck, killing a dog on a job, and it wasn't him. It was somebody, like, somebody was in the same exact wow. shit I did. Like, you know what I mean? I'm locked up today, so it wasn't me for sure. I'm like, damn. And I'm sitting up there like, damn, I, I did this shit. I'm thinking I did it. Like, that's like, I mean, but I get out of that job. I was, uh, when I got out, I was 18. I was 17, about to be 18. But I was just got a adult prison. I was in house correction and all that. You know what I mean, and I tried. I went to the army. So when I would have signed up for the army, they're like, "You too young." I was like, "I'm a submiss. Please let me go." Like I don't. You know what I mean, I'm, I'm Wait, out here. And this like, is when you was on Fifty Second Street, right? When you yeah, Fifty Second. It was to be army joint on Fifty Second Street. So she said, "You got to wait till you're 18. We said, "But what you can do? You can go down there and take the test to see if you can pass the test." I think it was a broad and cherry. Go down there, pass it. They like, "Yo, he good to go." Like you know what I mean, my MOS was chemical operations. But mind you, I'm still 17. So I start trapping on 51st and Market, trapping. This boy come buying bundles all night, three days straight. Whole time's nigga cop, man. <laughs> they come, blitz the block. I run on, remember it's the KFC on 52nd Street? Yep. I'm on 52nd Street on the KFC roof. I got the work off me, but I got the money on me, the money mark. They booked me. I'm at 55th and Pond. I'm like, man, shit, man, I can't catch a break. Like, I mean, so, you know, they actually do want to make a phone call. I call the lady. The army lady, like fucking me, call her. I just, went, I called her like, miss, I'm locked up. She's like, well, what, you, what you do? I said, man, I sort, I served the cops some crack. Like, let me see what I can do, man. They, she, they called me about 15 minutes later, let me out, gave me a hotel room till I turn 18, and 60 dollars a day till I turn 18. Then took me to uh, Fort McKellen, Alabama, but to uh, That's the army. Crazy. That's what I'm saying. I be getting some lucky shit, some shit that be happening to me. I'll be like, yo, this, you mean this, 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 this bad shit happened to me, but then good shit. It'd be like, you mean? Extremely good, extremely bad. Like, it'll never be some regular shit. You know what I mean? So, so you know what I mean? And, and so, I was in the Army, and I signed up for like nine years. I was going to stay in there for the rest of my life. I loved it. Come home you from said, basic training and get shot nine times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, wait, wait, wait. Before we get to that, you said in the Army, like, you was eating things you never ate, like lobster Yeah, yeah. I never, see, I never seen, uh, like, lobster tail. I never seen that. I never seen... Remember, I'm from the hood at, at this time. I, I only place I've been was in the jail. <laughs> never been, I mean, I ain't no shit about nothing. You know what I mean? So... I seen cream chip beef. I never seen that shit in my life. That shit that you put on the bread. I'm like, what the fuck is this, man? This shit is good as shit. Yo, this shit had me so fucked up. My brother was in jail. My boy was one year older than me. I'm writing this nigga like, yo, dang, you gotta come to the army, nigga. They got these this food. This shit is. <laughs> you know what I mean, then they give me. I think back then they give me like twelve hundred a month, which I ain't spending. You know what I mean, then they give you like ten thousand dollars shining bonus. You know what I mean, so I'm like, man, I, then I'm shooting a gun. Got a good name. I said, man, I'm never leaving this shit ever. You know what I mean, so that was my plan. But you know. God be having his own plan for you. 